Hi friends, welcome to a new video of Masters Academy, Second PUC Physics. Passing package questions for supplementary exam part 2. Prepared by Santosh Kumar PK. Third chapter, Current Electricity. One more questions. First question, define mobility of electron. Second question, define drift velocity of electrons. Third question, a resistor is marked with colors red, red, orange and gold. Write the value of its resistance. Fourth question, what is the condition for the balanced state of Wheatstone's network? Fifth one, state Kirchhoff's junction rule. Sixth question, define drift velocity of free electrons. Seventh question, write the color code for a resistor of resistance 45 ohm plus 10%. Next, eighth question, state Ohm's law. Ninth one, define electrical resistivity of material of a conductor. Tenth one, how does the resistance of conductor vary with its length? Eleventh one, why manganin and constantin are used in making standard resistors? So next main, two more questions. Twelfth one, draw Wheatstone's bridge circuit and write the conditions for its balance. Thirteenth one, give any two limitations of Ohm's law. Fourteenth, define mobility and mention its SI unit. Next, 15th one, state Kirchhoff's laws of electrical network. Here you have to write both Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. Next, on what factors does the resistance of a conductor depends? Represent graphically the variation of resistivity with absolute temperature for copper and nichrome metals. 18th one, Write the expression for drift velocity in terms of current and explain the terms used. 19th one, define drift velocity of electrons and write the expression for it. Here in these two questions, similar question, but here you have to write the expression in terms of current and here you are having just you have to write the expression for drift velocity. So next question, state and explain Ohm's law. Next three more questions. Derive an expression for drift velocity of free electrons in a conductor. You have, here you have to derive the expression. In these two cases you have to write the expression. Here the expression for drift velocity in terms of current. And here just the expression for drift velocity. You know that drift velocity is given by Vd is equal to Ee into tau by m in this case. Next. Derive the relation J is equal to sigma into E with terms have usual meaning. Next main, 5 more questions. Deduce the condition for balance of a Wheatstone bridge using Kirchhoff rules. So, this Wheatstone bridge or Wheatstone network is very very important. The questions may arise for 1 mark, 2 marks, 3 marks or also for 5 mark. With the help of a circuit diagram, obtain the expression for equivalent resistance of two resistors connected in parallel. The same question it may be asked for series also. That is, what is equivalent resistance? Derive the expression for effective resistance of two resistors connected in series. Next question. Assuming the expression for drift velocity, derive the expression for conductivity of a material where symbols have usual meaning and define the term mobility. Obtain the expression for effective EMF and the effective internal resistance of two cells connected in parallel such that the currents are flowing in the same direction. Next question. Obtain the expression for effective EMF and the effective internal resistance of two cells connected in series. So in this chapter, so you are having resistors, combination in series as well as parallel. Similarly, cells, combination in series as well as parallel, all these are very, very important. So disclaimer. The questions used in this video are taken from previous year annual exam papers from March 2014 to March 2020. Dear friends, if you like this video, please subscribe our channel and share it to your friends. Thank you.